It was a, um, yeah, it's, as I said, a work in progress report. It's, uh, they, they are just preliminary results of a much larger study uh, that is supported by the ESTS Biology Club, the uh, European Society of Thoracic Surgery uh, Biology Club, uh, about lung metastasis in general. And uh, we have invited um, 19 centers to participate, but also due to the COVID pandemics, uh, the start has been a little bit slow. So um, we are currently still uh, enrolling uh, centers and they are starting to include patients. So for now, uh, we decided to uh, focus on colorectal metastasis uh, to, to the lung, of course, and we um, uh, included patients from the two uh, major centers, I would say, that participate to this study, uh, the European Institute of Oncology in, uh, in Milan, which is the, uh, the, the first center, the promoter center of the study, and the um, Universitary uh, Hospitals of Leuven, where I currently work. So we had a total of 297 patients um, that had, were operated for um, lung metastasis from colorectal cancer. Um, we had some uh, quite strict inclusion criteria uh, because of the wide uh, variability of uh, metastas metastatic patients. So we decided to include only patients that received a lung metastasectomy as their first metastasectomy um, and who presented a clinical, radiological and also endoscopic or histological signs of local control of the disease. Uh, from January 2010 to December uh, 2018. Um, at a first look, when we uh, analyzed the uh, baseline characteristics, there were, there were no uh, differences between the two centers, uh, which testifies that there is um, common, uh, I would say, pathway of selection of these patients for uh, a surgery like uh, um, surgery for metastasis, a um, meta lung metastasectomy. And then we uh, aimed at analyzing the overall survival and also the recurrence free survival from, of course, the primary, uh, the primary cancer, the primary tumor. Um, we found that the um, Overall survival uh, was quite good, uh, which also confirms reports uh, from previous studies and larger studies uh, that, of course, the um, uh, surgery for uh, lung metastasis from colorectal cancer in selected patients is effective and is, uh, of course, uh, safe with good outcomes. And then we aimed at um, uh, highlighting uh, the uh, differences in overall survival based on several uh, variables like uh, the extent of resection or, for example, um, the uh, use of adjuvant therapies for uh, the metastasis. And we, in the end, we found out that, uh, for example, adjuvant uh, therapies for um, after uh, after lung surgery uh, was positively affecting overall survival uh, in a in a statistically significant way. Uh, next, we decided to perform a uh, multivariate analysis to uh, examine uh, the factors that could influence uh, the prognosis of these patients. And we found out that female sex and also induction for the primary colorectal cancer were uh, some favorable factors. So they uh, positively influenced the um, uh, the, the prognosis in these patients. Uh, we also performed a propensity score matched analysis, um, again, to minimize the uh, bias of uh, this heterogeneous group of patients. And we found out uh, two I, I think important, um, we, we had two important results. Uh, first, that 
um, in this specific sub subset of patients performing anatomical resections, like for example, uh, segmentectomy or a lobectomy, uh, had a, a positive impact on, on overall survival. And uh, uh, the same uh, was actually true also for uh, lymph node dissection. So of course, these are uh, really preliminary results and we aim at gathering uh, more patients with um, colorectal cancer metastasis to the lung um, in order to validate our results, to confirm these results. But um, I think that these results are important because they, uh, if confirmed, they might also change the way uh, we um, look at uh, pulmonary metastasectomy and also the type of uh, the extent of the resection that we actually uh, perform and the possibility also to perform a lymphadenectomy.